Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Republican Espanol. Or as somebody pointed out to me, it was actually pronounced Espanol Republicano. Because apparently that's because I forget sometimes that in in the Latin American languages they flip around the verbs and the nouns. Unlike in America where we have the nouns first and the verbs, they have the verbs first, then the nouns. Yeah, different system. And apparently one of my friends is Skyping me right now, which I'm going to tell him to stop. Uh, yeah, just don't do anything, dude. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, we are back inside this game, and I just have to take a quick, quick word to say this, and I think I just have to formally apologize, because I feel like I kind of, well, I didn't think it was this big of a deal, but apparently you guys really did think so. So I guess I have to formally, I guess I do have to formally apologize for this. And what I'm apologizing for is the fact that I restarted the game. And like, pretty much, pretty much like, doomed this like, let's play. I mean, I didn't realize, first off, I didn't realize that this campaign meant that much to you guys. That even if I did lose, you guys would be like, I mean, you guys apparently by... What I get from this is that you guys don't really care if I lose or if I get the the most, you know, completely. In fact, you guys, I think, are kind of sadistically laughing at it behind my back, but I'm not going to mention that because of reasons. But anyways, um, basically, you guys don't like it when I like restart games at all when I try to go back and fix some of my mistakes. You guys want me to play through my mistakes, so. For here, from here on out, I'm just going to play through all my stakes in Hearts of Iron 3 for as long as we can. I'm not going to rewind anymore. No more, no less. If something bad happens, I'm going to play through it. End of story. Okay? And I formally apologize that... For, I formally apologize to all those people that I made, you know, pretty angry for not, like, you know, continuing the game after I accidentally made a mistake of declaring war on Germany before... The Soviet Union was ready, and we were still fighting the proxy war with uh, Yugoslavia. Speaking of which, this proxy war, we better win here soon, because I'm really getting mad about it. Anyway, so, continuing, let's get, now that we're done with this little serious thing here, let's get back to the actual game! I have to delete a lot of these waypoints, because I keep forgetting that if you do not delete waypoints, your soldiers will actually stay on those provinces, so, potentially, okay, let's go right there, go right there, go right there, there we go. And all right, let's see the war, everyone. As we watch the as we watch the Russian Empire slowly but surely do stuff. Okay, we got some ICM that's not being used. We're not making any troops. Um, that's not good. Okay, let's see. Build some ice. Uh, let's see. Wait, wait. Let's see. Build some soldiers. Yeah, at this point in the game, we're in 1943. You can only build soldiers. Um, let's see. Technology-wise, what are we doing? We're getting nuclear research. That means we are getting very close to nuclear bombs. Uh. Industry, yeah, we're just doing we're just doing average on industry. Once it do, once it does all this, we have a lot of queued things queued up, which is good. Uh, let's see, theaters of war. We're just watching the Russians do whatever they can to stop. Again, one of the best things about this entire game was watching the was watching the skirmish. Oh snap! Dominican Republic has joined the Axis powers. Which increases the chances that Brazil is going to be fighting many people over here. And Brazil is now mobilizing, wow. Yeah, seriously, I don't know what it is about me being Republican Spain, but I swear I create a way more, like, fascist world than I intended to. Seriously, like, we have way more fascist countries in this world than, like, in actual time period. Like, where is it? There it is, diplomacy. Diplomacy-wise, we have all these nations, like... Well, actually, some of these are very typical, typical, like, fascist nations, but I know for a fact Argentina was not, well, they were fascist at this point, but they didn't directly ally with the Germans. And then, like, Ecuador definitely did not ally with the Germans, and neither did Dominican Republic. Those guys did not ally. And so it's kind of funny to see that, and just to see, like, all the, like, little, you know, um, I guess you could call it the butterfly effect, the uh, classic butterfly effect, you know, like, one little change here, changes the entire history of everything else. Yeah, really interesting, really interesting stuff. So, anyways, let's watch, let's go in a little bit faster speed because my computer can handle uh, Hearts of Iron 3 at full speed. It's a good thing too because this game would be insanely, insanely boring if you were just watching it just like at one speed. 
I mean, it's not like Victoria 2 or like EU4 where you could just like sit back and relax for like 100 years and not do anything. No, you better be making sure you pay attention. You better make sure you better make sure you pay attention, Hearts of Iron 3, because yeah, things will happen. Oh, also to note, somebody did comment on my comment section saying that that the reason why I could not like reinforce this guy is because like he wasn't out of supplies. Okay, let's go to technology, go back over here. Industry, I want you to research this, start research, there we go. Um the reason why I could not I could not move this guy is because he's actually out of supplies. Um yes. Yes he is. I kind of will I thank you for commenting and thank you for trying to help me out. Um yes, I kinda already knew that though. Just um I kinda already knew that he was already out of supplies. I just I was just not directly stating that I knew that he was out of supplies. I was just kind of like it was more of in a sense of, oh, why can't this thing not be out of supplies or something like that. That's I was trying to make just kind of a, kind of make a satirical joke or something like that. It didn't quite work apparently, but that's what I was trying to do. Okay, yeah, uh, but yeah, I played. Don't worry, guys. I may not understand Hearts of Iron three fundamentally to the, to like it's all its new advanced like fancy features, but I understand the Hearts of Iron series very well. This was. To tell you the truth, Hearts of Iron, the Hearts of Iron series was, I think, the first Paradox games I got into. Like, besides, besides for Victoria 2, Victoria 2 was the first game I, like, played, I, like, played and just loved to death. Hearts of Iron 2 was the game that got me into everything. I remember, I remember my first time, like, getting into that game and, well, I should mention right now, I did not play the games like completely correct, because back then I was just a little kid, like, I, uh, Hearts of Iron 2, give me perspective, Hearts of Iron 2 came out in like, 2004, 2005, I was like an 8 year old kid at that point, so, basically, um, and I did not understand movement troops, I did not understand nutrition, I did not understand any of these kind of fundamental basic steps, you need to understand if you want to, you want to have an army, um, basically all I understood was, is that, Army move, army destroy, army win. Yay! And I like to claim war on every other nation. It's really fun. <laughs> Those are the things I knew about war. So, um, when we got to uh, Hearts of Iron 2, the, usually how I would play it was that I would play as either like um, Germany, just because Germany you could declare war on anyone and just conquer them. And I really did like that feature. I didn't like being a democracy because it's always like, why am I playing a World War II game if I cannot let go invade anyone I want to? That seems really stupid. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't really that smart in terms of how I could, like, I didn't, I don't think I actually got into the idea that you could actually, like, uh, manipulate your government to actually become a very, like, uh, warlike and hawkish nation until, like, later. But for the time being, though, I only knew, I only knew that, I only knew that Germany and what else was it? There was another nation I really liked to play as. Um, oh yeah, Turkey. Turkey, yes. Oh, I loved playing as Turkey, because Turkey, I would always, every time, um, every time, like, the UK and Germany went at it after each other, I would just, like, go in and take over all this land. All this land, I did massive Persian conquests. I think it went, the first I think I ever went with Turkey was, like, Turkey, I own all of Yugoslavia, Romania, and then I, like, go right here, got all of Afghanistan, moved down here into... I think I was starting to move into India at that point. And then I was, like, conquering all of this. My, my empire was just huge. Okay, let's see. We got ICM Wasted. I don't like it when it says that. It makes me feel like I got something to do. Okay, yes. Okay, this is what we need to start doing. Okay, so we need to get some cereals. Get, like, one cereal, because I'm pretty sure we can always support one cereal. Um, just build that like 600 times though, 6 times, oh shoot, no, yeah, sometimes I forget about what the difference between parallel, parallel and, alright, uh, let's see, serial, serial, there we go, that should be the right thing, yeah, parallel, 6, there we go, just keep building that over and over, uh, 62, we're gonna need 62, this, lock it in, um, get this right here, get your super guns locked in, Okay, yay, election everyone, we should be a democracy right about now, but I've made my people very socialist. Oh, but yeah, basically where I was going with the story though, guys, if you don't know. Hey, we got Militiamen, that should help us out a lot. Oh man, I love when you get Militiamen, that is an awesome event.
But where I was going with the story was that I wouldn't really play the games correctly. And what I would do was that I would like beat Germany. And um, every time I wanted to go invade a, a nation that was more advanced than me or had more troops, such as um, France, France or like the Soviet Union. And I would like to point this out. I did not realize you could go through uh, Belgium. I did, like I said, I was a little bit of a stupid kid, so I didn't really think of like, oh, you should probably go through Belgium, that's probably the quickest way you could go to invade France. No, I wanted to fight through the Maginot Line and conquer France that way, which, what I would do was, which would actually be pretty easy, because my strategy for winning was always I would, I would go inside Germany, you know, save the game, then I would go inside France Nation, delete all the units, save the game, go back to Germany, declare war, and just stomp them. It was just like, Bam, 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 Follow France! Yay! Oh, Shasta, UK, you look like you guys are having difficulties. Please tell me that is not... Come on, come on, UK! Fight them! British, come on! Use that British power we hear about all the time. Don't you dare lose to the Germans. This will be very embarrassing. Oh, gosh, you're gonna lose to the Germans. They have literally no supplies. You have, you have more ships. You usually have more ships than they do. I am going to be shocked if you guys literally lose this. I'm going to be insanely shocked. Okay. And it looks like over here on the front, uh, Romanian, <laughs> Romanian, like, militia men just keep spotting. Uh, it's actually kind of funny to watch just as the, like, Yugoslavians keep trying to, like, uh, save themselves. Oh my goodness. And then, like, oh man. Oh, uh, let's see. How many more victory points do we need before this war is over? Okay, let's see. We have three victory points. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I would always do. I'd never play the games correctly. I'd always, like, delete the men of all the other nations I wanted to go conquer. And then just, like, create gigantic empires. So, I never actually... Fundamentally, at that point, I never really understood how to play HO, HO2, HOI2. But eventually, like, when I got into Darkest Hour, I actually started learning how to, like, troop counts, and how, like, attrition works, and how everything I just said actually works. And that's how I won some of my first real games, like, I remember my, one of my, one of my most fun games was probably when I played as Sweden, and just, like, did the Scandinavia thing, and then, like, took, I think I also allied myself with the Germans. It was either the, did I ally myself with the Germans? I must have, because what happened next was that I just took a big chunk of the Soviet Union. Like, I think my empire was just, like, right about here. Well, this is in Darkest Hour terms, people, so just imagine Darkest Hour. And just took all this right there, and yes! We finally won? Oh my goodness, I just missed it! What the heck? <laughs> oh yes, we finally won! And Romania was liberated! Oh gosh, Romania, you're back! Buddy, dude! It's good to see you again. Okay. Oh my goodness. And then all these HQ units. Okay. So now that we officially got them underneath our roof, um, it seems like the British are losing up here in Great Britain. That probably means that the Germans aren't having enough pressure. So um, it's a stupid idea, but we're going to declare war on Germany now. Because I feel like if we don't declare war on Germany now, we have a diplomat on. Did I have. Did somebody do something stupid? Uh, 18th. Okay. As soon as the 18th comes, we're going to declare war on Germany, get World War II started, and see if we can do some stuff. Okay? Bye. Germany, we are going to install a communist nation unto us. There we go. Okay. So, Russia should be able to move in at a good amount of pace because Russia is awesome. Plus, they already have a lot of troops over here, so it should be really fine. Uh, and let's see, you guys should be joining in. And we should have a lot of good troops right here, just fighting a lot. Um, let's see. And for war goals, let me get off these war goals so my troops don't accidentally, like... Yeah, I don't really care about this. If you guys die, I'm sorry, but I really just don't care. And... Let's see. My war goals are going to be, like... You know, I'm actually going to, I know this might be a little bit stupid because I have lots of areas right here, but I'm actually going to focus in on defense because, honestly, I'm going to be real here, I think my army could be easily destroyed. 
I mean, as much as I want to think of myself as a major power here, and like, I am one of the powers of Europe, I believe my army could be easily destroyed if it just, like, moves in slightly, so... We're just going to defend our line. That's all we're going to do. We're going to defend our line and make sure we don't die. Yay, Britain! You guys are over here, too! Come on, drive out those stupid people. Wow, Britain, you actually did a lot. Dang. Um, okay, so Britain's doing a good amount of job of driving out the uh, the Germans from Northern Africa. It's This is a good time to strike because now Germany is now unprepared. But at the same exact time, I think we're also a little bit unprepared. But... Let's see. Let's see how the Russians react to this. This will be an interesting... The Russians just did a couple of events. I didn't... I clicked too fast to realize what they were. And let's see. My troops are moving in at a... Hopefully slowest pace. I've, I'm really scared of the Germans, to be honest with you guys, people. I'm really scared of the Germans. Because I'm pretty sure they could beat us. If I, if I go head-to-head -head with the Germans, I feel like they're going to beat us. That's partly why I'm maining defensive. I don't want to take over anything. I don't really want to attack anything. I don't really want to do any of that. I just want to kind of move in and see what happens. Now let's see. Let's see how fast Russia moves in. I'm pretty sure, let's see, I'm hoping that they can get a good border like right about here. Right about here where Poland is before the Soviets, I mean before Germany like gets there. Because if we can get a border right there that'd be really nice. Um, Over here in northern in northern like Germany or northern like uh, Scandinavia I don't know what's gonna happen there this is like a good front and then hey French people please oh wait I, is this is that American or is that French uh, oh, okay it's American but it's French eh, American colors and the French colors are too similar in this game so we're gonna watch as we either die a hero or we either live long enough to become a hero or die a villain, as they say. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to watch this. I'm not sure what's going to happen, people, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to win this or if I'm going to be able to lose this. This is going to be an interesting front. Let's just say that. This is going to be a very interesting front to watch. Because I'm not really... I'm just going to watch it and see if my men are either stupid or... Hey, guys, move back. You guys are actually getting crushed pretty hard. Oh, gosh. Wow. They just, like, crushed through that. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, Soviets, come on man, don't, don't, don't leave me here, don't leave me. Oh my goodness, and then like, what's this, Ethiopia? What are you guys having troops all the way over here for? Okay, um, Ethiopian troops are pushing back. That's kind of something I've never heard of before. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. Okay, it seems like the Germans are pushing me back. I am horribly, horribly defending wrong. Hey guys, could you go send your troops over there? I mean, I know you guys really like to not send troops, but seriously, we might need troops over there. Um, let's see. We have a couple different stuff right over there. Let's see. It seems like because we are supplying so much pressure onto the Germans now, and look how many battles we're doing. This is, like, insane. Okay, gonna pause for a second. Seems like because we have so many battles now going on, the Germans are going to have a lot of good things. And look, there's a common sighted, and it didn't destroy my stability. Yeah! Okay. Alright, so, now, I'm just going to tell you my strategy if I was, because I can only tell this, the 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 uh, AI is not going to do this correctly, but this would be my strategy if I was in charge of this, really. Whoa! Huh. I must be really helping out with, with this empire over here, because I did not know I was moving in at all. Uh, but anyways, my strategy, if I if it was me, is that I would go down here, free the, free Greece, and then once I free Greece, then I'd go back up here, go attack the Italians, and destroy them. From over here, I would use my Soviet troops to go destroy the rest of northern, uh, northern states, and then from there, um, Soviet Union, I'd be pushing in like crazy. I mean, seriously, they have a free line to go push in. Um, hopefully, they can make sure that the Germans don't start pushing them back into their own territory. That would be insanely bad. I really don't know who's going to win this, people. This is like... Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious to see who's going to win in the ultimate end. If we could... I think if we crush Romania... If we could crush Hungary... And if we can crush, like, um... Oh, wow. Rebels. Rebels at the wrong time, man. Rebels at the wrong time. Okay, let's see. Um, reinforcements. Reinforcements must be at the maximum. Because if we don't have reinforcements, we are going to die. And I literally mean that. 
This is one of those few times where I literally need as many reinforcements as I can get. Um, the Germans are going to be ruthless in their cunningness. Hey, you, just attach to a unit. Oh, attach to a unit, go attack. Okay, you guys, attach to a unit, just go attack. Go get on the front lines, go start reinforcing. Yeah, now the Germans are really starting to push towards me. And anyway, I well, thank you guys for watching. This is going to be a fun war, everyone. We're going to see who wins. I say, and I say these things in the name of, in the name of the mighty Española Empire. Next time, people, hopefully I won't die. So, see you guys next time.